So there is something about being a human being that is completely stable. It's always turned on. There is something about you that is open and clear, just like the vast sky. In this training, we call that opening intelligence or open intelligence. So it is your basic state, your natural state as a human being. And you have the complete power to tap into that and rely on that in all areas of life, in every moment of your life. We are empowered to rely on that and make that as a decision for ourselves in every moment. So if you want to check for yourself, what is this opening intelligence in your life, you can stop thinking right now. Just for a moment, stop the train of thoughts. And I see you are all here, you didn't go anywhere. Right there, you have proven to yourself that you are more than your thoughts. Because this stable ground, this open intelligence, as you are, is your simple and pure knowing of reality as it is. Not a fantasy reality, but reality as it is. So in this training, in Balanced View, we give you only one instruction, very plain and simple for you to start to practice and check for yourself amidst your daily life to see if you can rely on open intelligence yourself as that stable ground. So that simple instruction is short moments of open intelligence repeated many, t many times until it becomes continuous. So if you remember one thing from this talk today, it would be that one and your openness to test it for one day and to see and claim this for yourself. Because we say here you don't need to believe anything we say because what Balance View provides is a support network for you to experience a life where you see that all your thoughts, emotions, things, places, relationships, anything that you can perceive that you are not limited by that that you are not dependent on that to, to live a, a wonderful life that might seem very radical at least it was for me the first time I heard it so we make it so simple in this training we just call all of that data it might seem very provoking to some people, at least it did to me, because I, I loved describing my thoughts and emotions and my situations in my life. I loved to be a drama queen. I was so attached to that. I thought that it was me. I had to live like this. If anything went wrong in my life, first thing, call all girls friends and uh, <laughs> and oh, it was some relief, but where did that re relief uh, go, you know? In the next situation, something happened, it was all back. So it was never lasting. But in this training where I started to see that whenever I have this data stirring, running, streaming, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, I just made it so simple for myself. I gave myself that permission and that chance to to take a short moment and just relax body and mind and see that it's fine whatever I'm feeling and thinking. I no longer need to judge myself for that. I no longer need to compare what I'm thinking and feeling to what other people are thinking and feeling. I no longer need to buy into stories about worrying about what other people will think and feel about me. All of that just gone through this simple practice. Because we then start to see that all of our data is just a natural expression of you as open intelligence. Open intelligence expressing itself. All the data is just your life force, dynamic energy. When left unnamed and not described, it's just free to express itself naturally. So you really come to experience, not as a mental idea and a, and a philosophy, that all data is inseparable from open intelligence. 
just like the color blue and the sky, just like the wind in the air. You cannot say this is the wind, this is the air. Reflections in the mirror. You cannot say this is the reflections, this is the mirror. It's all one. So it's such a relief to not needing to think about that, but start to experience it through living our life in real reality. In reality as it is. And to experience reality as it is, you start with yourself in short moments where you have the openness and willingness to let yourself be as you are. It all comes from there. So that was how it started for me with self-love. The, the most loving action you can do to yourself in this moment is to leave yourself exactly as you are. Give up the right to be a victim of your data. Give up that right. Take short moments and see that you are totally well and fine and naturally perfect just as you are. If you're sitting here longing for a future de destination of a free human being, I can tell you, you're free already. The acknowledgement and recognition that you are naturally perfect, just as you are expressing yourself in this moment, is what you've been searching for your whole life. And I know that because I know it through my own experience. So it's a gradual, gradual recognition because in every moment I can decide, decide to believe in hating myself and believing in all the stories and ideas that I, I thought was true about me. But it wasn't real reality. It was ideas I'd learned about myself. Nina being depressed, Nina being too much, Nina talking too much, Nina being na 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 na. So of course this is still going, but I have now been empowered through this training to make that decision that I can just let that be. Not wanting it to go away, because this is juice of life. It's how I know I'm alive. I wouldn't reach a stage where I, I don't want to have any feelings anymore, any thoughts anymore. I mean, all of this is, wow, I'm alive. But a life of lim limiting myself by that, it, it's a prison. But a life where I extract the power from that and take short moments when I'm experiencing that, It's a life of pure love for everyone and everything and including ourselves. It's such freedom to see that every thought, every emotion, every datum are spontaneously happening anyway. We can try to control it as much as we want. We might think we're very good at it. I thought that. <laughs> I had full control over my life. I knew exactly what to feel into my life so I could be happy. But that is just moving air around. That's not where it matters. Then you see that each datum has the potential in, of, as, and through itself to self-release, just like mist evaporating in the air. And each datum is just here, staying for a while, and leaving without leaving any trace, like the flight path of the bird in the sky. And now, when I started to experience that for myself with, with the emotional states like depression, which I felt was like hard black lines, <laughs> leaving so many traits, and I started to relax, I saw it was an idea. Where was these black spots? Where was these black lines? When I really checked for myself. So then I, I saw with many things in my life, addictions is just one of them. I, I had so many addictions to food, manipulating my thoughts around what to eat, what not to eat, how to look, how should my body be, you know, all these addictions around that. And I saw that if I implemented the same method by punishing myself and blaming myself, if I, if I did antidote, if I used addictions, if I use food to run away from feeling the feelings I'm feeling right now, I was just running the same method that I had run my whole life. So now I was introduced to just simply relax for short moments, 
before antidoting, during antidoting, and afterwards. And just repeating that again and again and keeping it so simple. And in Balanced View, we have this amazing support network, which is really Balanced View, for this to be your own real experience and not like a mental idea about yourself, about reality, about the meaning of human life. You know that meaning already through your own experience. So this education we call the Four Mainstays. So part of these Four Mainstays is that we all have a personal trainer. So with my addictions, for instance, and antidoting, it was crucial to be in close touch with my trainer. Not to go into all stories about myself in those areas. Because now I was willing to give up my right to be a victim of everything in my life and claim my true power as a human being. I wanted to claim my true power and not limit myself anymore. So in the relationship with the trainer, I've learned to see that I don't need to believe in all this internalized oppression. I'm not good enough. You know, all these stories. And when I just slowly I've been involved for five years now. Try this single instruction with all these thoughts, ideas, all these belief systems. I have seen that I'm so talented. I have so much to share with the world. But I couldn't share that freely before because I was so limited by all this internalized oppression. So that is amazing to have a support network that only support you in that. We have a whole community where that is the only thing we show each other and support each other. No more putting people down. Finish with that. How can I serve you today? What can I do for you today? Intimate relationship. No more the game of you know, having an intimate relationship and having your partner as a hostage for your own happiness. No, it's like, what can I do for you to flourish in your life? Every relationship of a human life is meant to be like that. All other ways of relating is a misunderstanding. And in the community, we really show this to each other. And then the other mainstay I introduced already with the one simple instruction of the short moments. So that's what you, you will remember from this open meeting. I know you will remember that instruction. And then lastly, we, uh, we have an amazing media where you design your own educational program with listening to talks, watching videos, reading texts, participating in endless trainings. Online, there's no excuse, you can do it anywhere. We have online trainings several days a week. We have open meetings like this all over the world. You can participate in open meetings also via via video conference. So that is how we together as a grassroots movement have claimed this power for ourselves, one after the other all over the world.